Hello and welcome to the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic word comes from Kathy Pelton, Portland, Oregon. How to pray for your children in the days we live in. James 1.27 speaks of a pure and undefiled religion. It's one that looks after the orphans and widows in their distress and to keep oneself unstained by the world. How do we pray that our children can be kept unstained by the world? Often, people become so comfortable with the familiarity of the narrative and the ways of the world that they scarcely recognize when it begins to leave a stain upon them. The enemy is always seeking to redefine what is defiled, redefining as normal or pure. We are watching the demonic normalization happening amongst even the youngest of our children today. I love Psalm 51 as it begins with a prayer that we can pray to keep our children and grandchildren separate from the stains of sin and the world. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Psalm 51, 1. I pray this for my own life, but I pray this for my sons and daughters as well. Earlier in James 1, we are shown the progression of how mankind can become stained. In verse 14, it says, Temptation comes from our own desires, which entice us and drag us away. These desires give birth to sinful actions, and when sin is allowed to grow, it gives birth to death. James 1, 14 and 15. We all begin with desires that are impure, which is why we must ask the Lord to create in our children clean hearts, those that desire what is pure and undefiled. But the temptation is not the sin, although we can ask that God purify them from even being tempted by such things. It is when they begin to compromise, even ever so slightly, that it gives birth to sinful actions, which can grow like a cancer that brings death upon them. This is one of my favorite ways to pray for my children. I pray, God, create in them clean hearts that desire purity, righteous, and truth. Remove even the temptation that comes from impure desires from their hearts. Purify their very desires. Matthew 5, 8 says this, Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. I want my children to see God. We all want our children and our children's children to see God. I believe that one of the greatest schemes of the enemy is to take sin nature that we are born with and to begin to define that as defiled as pure. If he can redefine fleshly desires, that need to be purified by the blood of Jesus is normal and natural, then our children will give birth to actions that bring death. There is a progression that can be stopped through prayer. Of course, we must be teaching our children from young ages biblical truth and training them in the ways of the Lord, but we must battle for them in prayer as well. Just as we clothe them when they are young, did you know that you can clothe them spiritually through the years? I use Ephesians six ten through 18 to pray and decree over them. Putting on the full armor of God, I pray the whole armor of God over them in Jesus' name. I ask Holy Spirit to clothe my children and grandchildren with the full armor of God so they can recognize and stand against the enemy's schemes. You can and should do this as well. Each piece of the armor has a purpose for protection. We are not powerless against what our children are facing because we have the authority through prayer to guard and protect them so that they will be holy, a holy people. Our prayers are effective and they're powerful. I pray this over your children today as well. May they be a generation that sees God. Let's pray into this together. In Jesus' name, right now, We call forth over our children, over our grandchildren, God, over children and generations not yet born, God. I thank you, Lord, that they will operate in the full armor of God. Lord, from the top of their head to the bottom of their souls, God, I pray that you will create in them a clean heart, that you will renew a right spirit in them, God. I pray that over my sons and daughters. I pray that over my friends as well. And as our children age and have their own children, we claim it over them. Anyone that is in my bloodline, that's in my friend's bloodline, in Jesus' name, they have been bought with a price. They are earmarked for salvation. And God, they will be the pure in heart. And they will see God in Jesus' mighty name. 
Amen.